in another epic battle in which Drew, the intellectual, the reasonable, and uh, just the great battles, Rob. I like the fact that you are the intellectual but can't say reasonable. But uh, yeah, cue it. Cue the intro. I get it. You're about to hear the greatest show of your life. Rob, we're, we're at it again. We're here to face off. We're here to debate. We're here to talk some things. Um, and uh, the the beer here is kind of the inspiration. So let's talk about what we will be drinking as we take breaks between, uh, um, I guess, arguments. We are drinking Oliphant Brewing's uh, Santa Squishy. So we're a little late on the uh, the train there. You know, it's, it is past that season. But yeah, you okay. finally threw out your tree, and this was way in, <laughs> way in the back corner uh, of your house, right yeah. next to a heating vent. Elephant, uh, Elephant Brewing is from uh, Somerset, Wisconsin, believe it or not. So we're, we're, we're staying home. We're going with the Wisconsin beer. It's a cherry and cola sour air, a- my God, ale. <laughs> Intellectual, he says. <laughs> with sea salt, lactose, and vanilla. 5.5 in the ABV, zero in the IBUs. It shouldn't be bitter because it is... A sour. So, Rob, when you're first pouring it, what is uh, it, it, it's a very red hue. I mean, this this right here, this is uh, oh, man, your hands I'm are shaky. I had a lot of coffee already. Oh I was up God. at six o'clock this morning. Were you? Uh, five actually. Okay. What was it? Four fifty or five? You know, it was five. It was Smell five. it. Looks like cranberry juice. Yeah, it looks like cranberry juice. It's got that odd smell, I guess. I think it smells all right, but it is definitely sweet and sour smelling. Do you get the cola? Do you get a cola? I, a little bit. Like the aftertaste. I don't know if it's got cola. It's definitely Coke. I don't I'm not because I'm not tasting much. It does taste like Coke. <clears throat> got, a, got a little cherry Coke to it. All right. Well, that's going to bring us to our to round two of the debates, the great debates here uh, that we like to have. The last one, of course, was uh, the, the hard hitting, the groundbreaking Marvel versus DC. And now we got to do another one. Two household names, two items in which people drink on a daily basis, two items that have been known in the, the beverage game for long times. You can drink them regular. You can drink them with uh, alcohol. You can drink them in diet form, sugar-free form. They're all over the place. Today, Rob is pro-Pepsi, and I am pro-Coca-Cola. Yeah, doesn't make sense. And it's uh, th- you know, it's a debate that I think a lot of people have, and a lot of people, uh, um, half the people are wrong because they're choosing Pepsi. So, uh, Rob, do you have any opening arguments that you would like to present? How? Would, so, what? What's your history with Pepsi, and why? Why do you have such inferior taste buds? It's because I have taste buds. That's oh. the thing about that's the thing about Coca Cola is it coats your mouth with syrup, so you don't even realize that <laughs> what you're tasting, what you're drinking, tastes so bad. Like okay. Uh, uh, and then it, it gets stuck in your throat. It's terrible. I mean, Pepsi, you can drink it warm. Would you ever drink a warm Coke? Yeah. Uh, the, 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 oh, my God. That sounds <laughs> terrible. That sounds so bad. <laughs> okay. So what, what's your history with it? I mean, I will say, I mean, are we getting into the history of my history with Pepsi? Your history, yeah. I grew up in a, in a Pepsi household. Mountain Dew is, is king of mm-hmm. sodas in my, you know, my, my view. But, but we're uh, looking strictly on I know, a cola. I know. Okay. Uh, but I'm just saying, uh, I stick. I'm loyal to a brand, and and uh, I was always a Mountain Dew person. But we always had Pepsi in the house as well. And uh, you know what? Uh, when I want a cola, and I, I need a Pepsi. Okay, fair enough. Um, Rob, anytime you go to a restaurant and you sit down, or anytime like you're thinking about a soda, you're thinking about that delicious ice cold beverage on a, on a hot day. You sit down and you say, they say what? You know, they say, can you get me a Coke? A Coke. Everyone's instinct is Coke. I'm going to have a Coke. Not just, don't give me a cola. Give me a Coke. And then they'll always be like, is Pepsi okay? 
Yeah, but movie. that's the thing. Uh, the, people ask for Q-tip or buy Q-tips, but they actually buy cotton swabs because Q-tips are inferior products. But but everybody says, Gary, shut up. It, this is the thing. When you get into brand recognition over product recognition, which Coke has definitely done, uh, so is Q-tips, so is a lot of things. Kleenex? Kleenex. Uh, those are Nazi brands. Oh, oh and God. Coke, you Coke, can't, you can't Coke, say that. Coke sent, no, Coke sent spies <laughs> out to try and stomp out Pepsi back in the day. This is true. This is true. Okay. Uh, the, the, you're, you're living under a Coca-Cola regime, Drew. <laughs> Okay, when you think of Christmas time, you don't think of Pepsi, you think of Coca-Cola. Their brand, their branding is on point because their item and their product that, is on point. That's my problem with it, though, Drew. The, the better the marketing, the worse the product. That's not true at all. That's not true. They In have, this case. No, it's not. It's just... Coke has all those flavors. They pack them. Whatever flavors that are in there, it's delicious. Whether you're having a vanilla Coke, awesome. Whatever, whether you're having a, a Diet Coke, delicious. Cherry Coke is fine, but I'm not like a big cherry cola guy, even though we're drinking a cherry cola sour uh, and it's good. But I will still choose the the cherry cola over the cherry or the cherry Coke over the cherry Pepsi. And Coke is just it just has a bold flavor where Pepsi just kind of falls flat. You just can't be you're not they don't leave your thirst quenched. See that I, I'm in the opposite boat. I think Coke is a too syrup heavy. OK. Uh, and, and it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth uh, from the point that it gets to your mouth to after you've swallowed it and then again after you've vomited it up. <laughs> uh, and another thing that Coke did, put addictive drugs in their drink to begin with. <laughs> That's why everybody knows Coke. <laughs> there wasn't that much in there, was it there? It was just, yeah, that first taste, though. That's a little... Ah, Coca-Cola. <laughs> but, but, uh, I'm just saying. There's Damn. some sketchy business practices. They took Santa Claus mm -hmm. and polar bears. Okay, well think that. Think of this. Of course, everybody you know, knows going, them over Pepsi. When you go to a bar and you're going to, you you want to go up there. You say what? I want a Jack and Coke. You don't. Nobody says, "Give me a Jack and Pepsi." <laughs> nobody. A rum and Coke. Nobody says rum and Pepsi. You, you can't. Coke matches. It has something for everybody. It has something for everybody. It mixes well with hard alcohol. Yeah, but you give it to your kids. You can have it in regular form. But if you're feeling a little goosey and you're like, "Hey, I'm feeling a little frisky. Want to get loose tonight? Throw some Jack Daniels in that bad boy. Jack and Coke. You never once hear of a mixed drink with Pepsi. It is because it's pure garbage. My friend made. He would mix Jameson with Pepsi, and he called it a Jama Pep or a Pep schmear. It sounds like a me uh, like a medical practice more than you, you a, want, a delicious adventure. But that's the thing. You want to know why nobody mixes with Pepsi, but they because, mix with Coke? Because, because, because it lacks no, the flavor. Because Pepsi is good on its own. People need to doc – they're not doctoring up the Jack Daniels. They're doctoring up the Coke. Is that what it is? That's what's happening. They the, need to cut that syrup down. Then why don't they just say put some Pepsi in there then? Because Pepsi is perfect. If you add something else to it, then yeah. it becomes not perfect anymore because okay. you've added something that, that takes away from the Pepsi. You need to add to take away from the Coke. Really? You, you really think that? I do. I, and Because I, I will give you that point that, yes, even I drink Jack and oh, Coke you do. and rum and Coke because it's syrup heavy. So oh. uh, when you cut it down with that alcoholic beverage, it, uh, it, it makes it tolerable. Makes it tolerable. Makes it tolerable. Okay. Coke runs like the Super Bowl, don't they? Or they did. Or I think it might be Pepsi. Oh, now. I thought you were gonna say it runs through tables because it will eat through a table. So, well, so will any carbonated. Uh, uh, cola I don't hear beverage. people. I don't hear people talking about that on the Pepsi side. <laughs> That's because that Pepsi probably planted that. Pepsi's like, hey, you can use Coca Cola to clean your toilet bowl, and you know what? That's a good thing. Not only will it, uh, it quench your thirst and, and make you feel great on a day, but hey, you got a shit-stained toilet? You know what? Hey, I got it. It, it Multiple use. So yeah, there's yeah. more reason Coke, to Coke, buy it. Yeah. Coke got it there. Coke can get it away. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You're right. And, you know, it's it's just like a Red Bull. People try to slam Red Bull. Uh, That's going to kill you and everything like that. But, uh, you know, Coke, Coke is a product that is universal, that everybody knows. It's a household name. Everybody loves it. And you can have you can have it whenever, and it's delicious. I love do, Coke. Do it's you so good. Do, do you think there's anybody out there that doesn't know what Pepsi or Coke are? Maybe in, like, those... Like, really, those like, like, deep, deep in the jungle? Yeah. But I still think probably the military dropped co Coke on those nah, people. I think there's some, there's some villages that, like, they see a helicopter for the first time. They don't know what the hell it is. 
Yeah. There's no way they That's what they it. tell us. Yeah. You think there's a like an indigenous group somewhere that we just don't even know exists? There's got to be. Probably an underground dwelling group. I want to believe that. Wouldn't that be crazy? And then you handed them, and then this is this is where we got to get into this these secret operations because we'd be like, hey, try one of these. And they'll probably think both of them are disgusting. But I will bring you up a point here. Yes, they have the polar bears. Yes, they have Santa Claus because, you know, you can't. Now it's like Christmas, Coca-Cola. Winter, Coca-Cola. Summer, Coca-Cola. Anytime is good to have a Coca-Cola. But Pepsi, you know what Pepsi did? They tried to kill Michael Jackson. They lit that fucker's fa- hair on fire. They put him down, and they're like, they spent all this money. They're like, you know what? Coke is just obliterating us, dominating us in every aspect possible. We need a big star. Let's get MJ. Michael Jackson puts it on there. The boom, the commercial, hair on fire. He goes, hey, and he falls down the stairs. And you know, in a melodic way, somehow he's still he's still thinking about his uh, his vocal uh, uh, abilities, and uh, they they put him down. And then they're like, shit. And then it was such a big thing that they wasted $5 million on it instead of enhance, enhancing their flavors, putting some science behind They didn't their, need to. Yes, they did. Getting it some more bubble. Giving it some more, like, more bubble. Less, less flat. It's That's what Coke is, is flat. Are you no kidding me? Way. Are you kidding me? Pepsi is straight flat, No, dude. dude. Coke is the flat, syrupy soda. No. You're wrong. You were wrong. You're making it. You make Coca Cola seem like it should be in an Aunt Jemima bottle. But <laughs> it's, yeah, basically. <laughs> and I'm just gonna say this to your MJ point. Uh, yeah, they might have failed, but <laughs> that just shows risk taking. I like a risk taking soda. Uh, you, get, you know what, Santa Claus? That's safe. Starting Michael Jackson on fire. It's a risk <laughs> that you, yeah, if you're willing to take it. Come on. It's always it's always Coca Cola, man. It, that's just just the way it has to be. They haven't hurt anybody. Uh, they're they're you know a multinational beverage corporation. Uh, they started in uh, Delaware's General Corporation Law and headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. Do you know that? Let's check out the stock prices. All right. Currently, we can't go based on that. Oh, sure we can. Sure we can. Uh, currently, the Coca Cola is at sixty dollars and twenty nine cents for their stock. Okay. What do you think Pepsi is at? I don't know, probably fifty-two. Why? Why would that be? Because there's, you oh, know, there's, because there's, oh, it's a, it's actually ninety. One hundred sixty-eight. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Talk about a backfired argument. <laughs> Damn Sorry, it. I got so loud, people. No, that's okay. Yeah, that's really different. But that's because Pepsi Co. has a lot of products now. Coke has like good amount of product and like nestle and stuff don't they or is that pepsi i, I don't know exactly off top. i just know pepsi co is like uh they've they've like conglomerated over so many and that's the things. thing that's another thing too they they they're, they're where their cola lacks they're like hey now we have to invest in all these other things mountain dew mountain dew is significantly better than pepsi i like mountain dew and i'll choose a mountain dew over a pepsi anytime what about I'll a choose, yellow i'll choose piss water over a, a, a pepsi anytime but they they where they fell flat. I can give you that choice. They had they had to <laughs> they had to uh, create all these other lines. They had to bring all they these didn't other have products to. just because their Coke their, their cola product fell flat. It fell short, quite frankly. And they're like, shit, we gotta now we have to create a monopoly and dominate the market by just who who does the Super Bowl halftime show? I'm sorry, I who's fine? Pepsi does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, and again. They, they they hurt people. They hurt people that that halftime show. What look at Janet Jackson. Hasn't been the same since her boob has been ripped out by Justin Timberlake. Hasn't been the same. Did you see that documentary? Justin Timberlake planned that, you know. The whole thing was planned, wasn't it? I don't think she planned it. I think it was news to her. Oh really? He planned it with her wardrobe. I'm making this up. Don't listen to me. There I, was didn't, I didn't watch it. There was that something yet, along uh, that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's uh it's just it's, uh, it's it's called like the betrayal of Janet Jackson or something like that. <laughs> oh really? I don't it's something like that. I don't know. It's a whole thing, and it's it's just. I'm just going to say this. Okay. Yes, Pepsi needs to. They it, haven't it, had it, a good halftime it, show it, recently. It, it, it's like a, it's like a bad sports team with a bad office, but good players. Like, sure. uh, they don't know how to market properly. They keep yeah. thinking, let's get Britney Spears, let's get Michael Jackson, let's do. Whereas, you know, it's like they need an iconic image. They don't have an iconic image. Uh, Coca Cola, yeah, they they got they got Pepsi beat in the marketing. They got the polar bears. They got they got the Santa Claus thing. They got. Uh, 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 American cherry pie or whatever the heck uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they do. Uh, you know, it's like it is considered this. They they branded themselves as this thing that they're not. 
It's a mask that they, yeah, it's a mask that they wear. That they are uh, uh, true blue. They're they're as American as apple pie and Chevrolet. Uh, but you know what? Pepsi battled back from a from an from a really unfair business practices at the beginning of their startup. Why? Well, because and and this might this falls into a gray area, but uh, Pepsi might have started off. Stealing the cola, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, th- th- they trademarked cola, Coke did, and yeah. then they're like, nobody else can sell cola, even if it's different from ours. But mm-hmm. I will say this: I think Pepsi tried to reverse engineer Coke and then found a superior product in that process, probably by not putting uh, illegal drugs in it. I don't know. I'm just spitballing. You know, but you know, doctors used to say that smoking was okay. One doctors used to smoke in the office no, while they're looking at back little, little Billy's knee. So it, you know, it's not a it's not a big deal. Coca Cola is just uh, they're awesome. They're, right now, you know, back in the day, they 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 promote they promote uh, including people. They promote recycling on their on their bottles. Now it says, please recycle. See you again later. And you could also share a Coke with your friend. You can find there's names on the bottles, and you go, hey, you know what? This it's promoting kindness. It's like, oh look, there's one for Robert. Share it with Robert. You're darn tootin'. I'm gonna share it with Robert. Thank you, Coke, for for um making my friendship stronger and making me think of my friend a little bit more. And maybe reflecting on myself a little bit, saying, hey. You know what? I should be a better person. I should reach out to my friends more often. I see a name on the the bottle. I'm going to buy it for Robert. I'm going to go to Robert, and then he's going to be an ungrateful little bastard and say, should have bought me a fucking Pepsi. But Pepsi doesn't personalize bottle. Pepsi doesn't reach, wants you to reach friends. Pepsi wants you to stand in the corner alone like some loser and without friends. And then when you say, oh, you want some Jack Daniels with it? No, can't. Drinking Pepsi. No, this see. Uh, the reason that Pepsi doesn't do those things is because people who drink Pepsi are good people that don't need to be reminded to do things for their friends by the bottle. The they don't need to be reminded to recycle <laughs> because they just know that that's what a good Pepsi drinking, <laughs> hard working human being does. Okay. When's the last time you bought a Pepsi for somebody? I don't know the last time I bought a Pepsi for myself was, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I'm uh, trying to stay away from all colas, but, uh, yeah. No, uh, uh, I did actually. I bought Pepsi for my mom uh, probably a week and a half, two weeks ago. Okay. Okay. I, you know, I guess. I guess you're right. But I think Coke is really reaching out there and trying to get more personable and trying to, to make friends here. I, I think that you're buying into their marketing brainwashing bullshit uh, personally. Yeah? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I see their commercials and I hear obey, obey, <laughs> drink Coke, obey. That's what you hear, huh? Yeah. What about uh, um, so, say you go to a you go to a store. There's no um, there's no Pepsi. There's no Coke. What cola are you reaching for? Um, God, I think the only other one I know is like RCA and maybe Sp- does Sprecher do a cola? Uh, I don't know. Tab. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of Tab. Um. Yeah, I guess RCA probably. Yeah. I, which honestly, RCA, they're 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 an underdog in this discussion, but they're not a bad cola. What about Jolly Good? Jolly Good, no. What? No. You don't like Jolly Good? Just not Jolly Good cola. If I'm going with Jolly Good, I'm going with like orange or or like lemon grape. lime or something. Grape, I'm not a big big grape really. Soda Jolly person. Good strictly from Wisconsin, Wisconsin company. They came back. They're back to serve you. They're back to give you the yeah, stuff. Yeah, didn't they, didn't they close for a while? Mm-hmm. All right. So you don't like their cola, huh? I, I just... It, no, I don't. And I can't remember why. I just know in the past it's not the, my go... Like that. If there was any other flavor of Jolly Good, I'm going for that over the cola. I'll give you I'll give you that Pepsi has Mountain Dew, which is better than Mellow Yellow. But I think Mellow Yellow also has some things to offer that, that Coke or that Mountain Dew doesn't. It doesn't have like an overwhelming taste of it. It does have some goodness to it and it does help you it's a different flavor it's a different flavor you know it's meant to be a different flavor i don't know what flavor mountain dew is it's just delicious and probably terrible for you oh this is bad for you but you know and, and that's that just goes to show how how awesome coke is because they're like okay we'll make something in the lights in the likeness of mountain dew but we're not going to try to match the flavor whereas pepsi tried to match the flavor tried to steal the formula tried to recreate it all because they're like Oh man, we That's what Edison did to Tesla too, but we still have lights. Like what do you want from me? I can't change the past, Drew. Elon Musk lived back then? I, if he did, he created he would, Teslas? Yeah, yeah it, but uh, it's get the, off the, the Yeah, the dogs on the couch. Barry, get out. Get out. 
Oh, God. Now they've all... I was trying not to yell that, but... <laughs> you know, I bet you the dogs would like the Coke better, too. Well, they, they, they lick their butts, so yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so you've never enjoyed a Coke ever in your life? You know what? No, I've pretended to. Like the whole oh, idea, so you could fit in, the, right? the, the whole idea, yeah, yeah because they got names on the bottles, and if I don't, if <laughs> I don't do that, then I'm an outsider. <laughs> uh, you know, the, like the the glass bottle of Coke, like that, that, that vintage look, dude. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's all it is. It's a brainwashing no. trick where you're like, no. oh, I get to drink like they did from in the fifties. Uh, uh, Pepsi doesn't rely <laughs> on that gimmicky BS, man. Like, uh, you know, it's like when I get, I would get a glass bottle of Coke and go, now this is going to be good because it's out of a glass bottle and it's like my grandparents drank it. And then I'd have a sip and I go, uh, yep, that's good. I guess it's supposed to be right. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, I mean, it's again, though, but it has that it has that appeal to your entire gener to generations, to multiple generations. It's uniting people. You know, in the world of the vision, I think all of this could be settled over a fine glass of Coca-Cola. I do. I do remember, uh, man, I was listening to probably the dollop mm -hmm. podcast, which is a good podcast. Um, but I feel like they did like the, the war between Pepsi and Coke in terms of like World War Two. Mm -hmm. Who got the contract for sending soda to troops? And sure. I can't I can't remember who won that contract. I feel like Pepsi actually might have, and it might have been like a turning point in terms of their stock prices and whatever. But don't quote me on that. But uh, look it up, people, because it is an interesting story. Yeah, just not memorable, I guess. People for in, in 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 terms of flavor, according to some studies, nine times out of ten, the answer is that Pepsi is sweeter than Coke. Okay. I would agree with that. It is sweeter, but it doesn't mean it's better. I, I don't always well, want Well, here's the thing. Okay. Like one of the, this is, there was one time period and it happened in our lifetime that Pepsi had a better ad campaign and it was the Pepsi challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, that will go down in history as like, now there's challenges for everything, but Pepsi mm -hmm. challenge. I mean, that was, that went TV viral. Pepsi challenge. What was it? It was, it was, they put like, some, some, coca-cola and some pepsi and unmarked oh, sure. cups and they had people drink them and tell them which one was better first they'd say well, and it's a commercial so even and i so, so i don't just do this with, co with with coca-cola i do this with pepsi too i would go they go what, what do you prefer i prefer to drink a nice coca-cola like a good american <laughs> well try these two uh these two unmarked colas and we'll see which one you actually like yeah uh boom pepsi served son that was the commercial, basically. Uh, it, you know, I might have embellished a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> like, to me, it's like, okay, these could be paid actors. I mean, there's uh, there's tons of people out there that are willing to go, yep, I like Pepsi. Uh, I guess I like Pepsi, even though I thought I like Coke. There's no way that you can drink Coke and Pepsi and not be able to tell that the one that you drank, the piss water Coke, was Coke <laughs> and the delicious drink Don't was use Pepsi. my vernacular. Don't use my of piss water. I, I did, didn't I? Oh, it just came out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, but it's still even if you're drinking a Pepsi, I I'm willing to bet eight out of ten times somebody's uh, yeah, this is Coke. I'm drinking Coke. Like they're gonna call There's it people Coke. that don't care as much about this. Uh, but the, the, but the, but if they and if they don't, they're not saying Pepsi. They're saying Coke because it Coke is just more recognizable yeah. and more better. Like they they'll taste a Pepsi and be like, wow, this is a weird flavor a weird flavored Coke. This must be a bad batch of Coca-Cola. This must be Coke Zero. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, it's uh, it's uh, it's just Pepsi." And they're like, "Ah, shit." I I don't know. I uh, one thing that's interesting to me about this discussion though is that you are on of the weird, crazy thought process that Pepsi tastes flatter than Coke. Mm -hmm. I am on the obviously right and true path to glory and saying that coke tastes flatter than pepsi yeah we, so we both drink these two sodas and think the same thing about the opposite one i guess so is soda not even about flavor or any, it's all mental well, it's all it it's all be. in our brains so get this okay so you're you, they won that taste test pepsi did in the 80s like you in said. the 80s yeah and then coke made new coke which is which, which back bombed, bombed. you know why but they tried to make new coke to to replicate the taste of Pepsi, and it tasted like shit. It, it was horrible. See, so, like, so, so Pepsi just, even has better in engineers. No, but it's just saying, it's just saying, yeah, this is pretty much Pepsi, and nobody no. nobody likes it. So yeah, so Coke that means we're going back to the original. 
And everybody likes it more. Uh, 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 earlier in the show, you said Coke didn't have to replicate Pepsi. <laughs> but here we are. I looked at the history a little bit. But it's wrong. I but, was it, wrong. but that's the thing. It had nothing to do with Coke and Pepsi, well, Pepsi themselves. Pepsi it had originally to, stole it. it. It had to do with the idea that, oh, Pepsi beat us in the ad marketing campaign, so now more people are drink, drinking Pepsi. Yeah. I mean, it's it, it's weird to me that somebody could actually, like, like watch an ad and go, you know what? I've been drinking Coke my whole life, but this Pepsi ad's got me thinking. <laughs> like, I feel like the battle lines are drawn. Are there really people on the fence about Coke and Pepsi at this point that yeah. aren't three or, or when, when do you start drinking soda? I don't know. <laughs> 10? I don't, I don't know. 15? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I mean, really, the two brands have been in marketing feuds the whole time. Maybe they're in it together. Maybe they're just like, well, let's just, you'll do this. We'll do this. It could be. They I mean, could. it's created debates yeah, I wouldn't, here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. As long as, uh, as long, uh, as long as we're 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 not drinking water like we should be, they're happy. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we will not let orange juice into this conversation. Do you know Pepsi was created in a pharmacy? A lot of sodas were. Dr Pepper was like a, a, a tr- was actually considered a, a tonic of sorts. What about are you? So are you a Pib or Pepper? Pepper. Okay. Dr. Pepper. I like I like Pid. Pid. I, li- I like them both. I think they're completely different, but that is a conversation that some people have. Yeah. Pepsi started 12 years after Coke. So Coke had already been out. Yeah, yeah. Coke they got themselves established quick. Yeah. Oh, Coke did? Or Pepsi did? Coke did. Yeah, they did a, a good job. You know, monopolies are great, I guess, if you like that kind of thing. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Pepsi aids in digestion. <laughs> Aimed to be the new soda on the block, trying to subtly suggest that Coke was outdated and for older consumers. Oh, so Pepsi was trying to use some ageism and say, hey, if you drink Coke, you're an old fuck. Get out of here. We don't like you in out with the old in with the new. So the, they're trying to yeah, set, they were trying they, to they would do anything to uh, 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 to 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 undo. The, the stuff that Coke did to them right out the gates, which was literally send spies around and make sure nobody was selling Pepsi. Coke Coke is, uh, they u- work with a lot of celebrities, or Pepsi, I should say. Yeah, Pepsi seems to have more celebrity endorsement. Britney Spears, Beyonce, uh, Jeff Just, Gordon. J- Justin Timberlake, maybe? He, yeah, I think he did. He did Pepsi for those who think young. Oh, my God. That's an ageism thing yeah Ages. because pepsi is cool and hip and young and and what's wrong if, with you, if you drink pepsi you'll automatically be on a four-wheeler ju- doing a <laughs> backflip into a pool and uh everybody will be dancing and and uh, i'm pretty sure t-pain is on the stage doing some like whatever he does i don't know <laughs> well why so then why does uh you can't what, what's wrong with being old what's wrong with uh with liking old things they didn't say that there's anything wrong but they're with saying it. no you're not hip you're not cool unless you drink pepsi you have to like you have to be some old bat. Yeah, if what you they're really saying, coke. what they're really saying is, older people are drinking our product. We want more of the young market share. We don't. We know that this ad camp, these ad campaigns don't affect yeah. old people. They're not on the fence anymore. The only people on the fence about soda are the young, mm. and they're doubling down on that. Okay. I mean, now I agree that's a little bit, uh, you know, unethical to say old older <laughs> people can't change their minds about things, but. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe that's what uh, the the torrid ca- ad campaigns back then is what led to the divisive nature of of everything. In which case, everybody was like, "Well, I guess if I can't change my my cola preference, I can't change my preference on anything." Even in their even in their programs, Coke Coke started uh, the Coke points, okay, the Coke rewards where you could do stuff, and then of course Pepsi had to do it. Coke is always that's, this is unfair. This is unfair. Ahead. This is unfair. They're always one step ahead, though. They're better marketing people, but that's unfair because we, that was in a time when every product. I, I'm pretty sure macaroni and cheese did a little like, get some mac and cheese bowls from us if you <laughs> send us enough box bowls. tops. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just saying. I, I'm always, I'm always leading towards the Coca Cola. Yeah, I mean, like if you're into that kind of thing, if that's why you know, then you should be smoking Marlboros because they they were the. We don't uh, smoke. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is worse for you, drinking soda or smoking cigarettes? Oh, uh, in my opinion, at this point, uh, soda. Really? Yeah, it's t- it's terrible for your teeth. Your teeth. Uh, do, Smoking's do, not. 
I don't think it's as bad. I don't think it. Come on. I think it's bad for your teeth, oh. but I think it it doesn't erode away your teeth the way that soda does. Should if we have you, a debate about which cigarettes are the best? Uh, no, I'm because I don't. I honestly, no, they all taste bad, and I don't know why I smoke them. But uh, so it's like there's no debate there to me. It's like <laughs> I literally right now I'm down to the cheapest on the market. That's what I buy. Yeah, how much do they cost these days? Five bucks a pack. That's what I pay. Oh really? Yeah. I thought, aren't like majority of them like eight, eight or nine eight dollars? to nine dollars. Yeah. American well, spirits are like ten bucks. How many are in a pack? Tw- Twenty. Twenty, huh? Yep. And people smoke one or two of those a day. Packs. A lot of people. Yeah, it's it's really easy to get up to a pack a day. I two packs a day. I don't get how anybody can breathe if they're doing that. Th- yeah, those I don't know might how be people. Like, yeah, with one. Like, yeah. Well, uh, that's that's true too. Like right now, I'm probably at a half pack a day. Yeah. Uh, which is not good, but it's not terrible. Mm-hmm. It is terrible still. I'll, 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 can we not talk about this? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I'm. I feel like this well, is see. This is what Coke does. <laughs> they discredit Pepsi by changing the subject and making them look bad. I was about to. I was about to. I was about to lean in with, hey, if he's talking about his poor decisions and how he doesn't I know why see, yeah. he does this thing, then he doesn't have an, a clear clue of why he's drinking Pepsi. And his, uh, he thinks drinking, drinking. I got out in front of it though. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you caught Pepsi on. Pepsi should hire me. You caught on. You're right. Pepsi should hire you. Uh, well, you know, I think I think the debate uh, remains. And the I, debate I don't, is yeah, there. I don't know if it's a winnable debate because I don't think it's all. Uh, it it's really crazy to me that both of us, you can, yeah, uh, that both of us think the same things. The reason, like, the reason that you like Coke is not for the reasons that I don't, which is what I expected you to go. Oh, I think I like a more syrup heavy soda that's not as like fizzy or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas I, I'm going like, oh, I, I like kind of a uh, sweeter, a more fizzy. What, but we're yeah. both going. No, the other soda is more flat than the soda. That's insane to me. That's the interesting thing that came out of this debate. We need to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> I don't uh, know, but I don't know how to without without beakers. Do you I have beakers and 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 Bunsen burners? No, and, I don't. Okay, no. I have an oven. We'll get on that. I don't. I, I don't, the microwave works the same as a Bunsen burner, right? Maybe. I don't think I've ever. Or I, I can't. I, I can't tell you the last time I had a Pepsi. I don't drink Coke that much, though, either. Yeah, I tend to... Uh, I've had I Coke. I don't drink soda, really. Yeah, I really have cut way... Like, I, I rarely drink soda now. I really just drink, like, water and coffee at this point. And Me then too. milk with dinner. Beer. And then uh, the occasional beer. Which we'll have to talk in a different episode about the uh, the brew fest that I went to without you. Yeah. I got very drunk and ended up dancing for two hours at, at uh, <laughs> Fat Joe's to the point where my calves felt like they were falling <laughs> off the next day. Really? Yeah. That's good. Good for you. Yeah, I had a good time. I thought you went to Sully's. So it was. We went to Main Pub and then uh, it's Main Pub. That's still open. Yeah, that's the, that's one of the OG bars that still keeps its name Where and regulars. It? It's on Sixth uh, and Main. Oh, okay. Uh, so we went there to wait for Noah's girlfriend, and then she took us to Sully's where his surprise party was. Yeah, I knew about that. And uh, so did he, because somebody dropped a bomb at. Uh, Brewfest. Oh, really? To him, yeah. So uh, now it's out there. I was going to say keep it a secret, but I think there's a recording device in here. Yeah. Um, but uh, then we went from there. Everybody went to Fat Joe's, mm-hmm. where there was a pretty good band. Oh, the presidents were playing. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. So like, uh, and I was just vibing. I was drunk. I'd like to see you dance. Did you did you do the robot around the, a crowd of people? No, no, no. Now I do. Uh, I'm very. I'm more theatrical. I get down on my <laughs> knees and do spins and stuff like like I did at your wedding. I, yeah. It's terrible. I feel uh, so ashamed every every morning after I dance, even though I go, I had so much fun and I should just be myself. But I was watching Olympic, uh, the Olympic ice skating, the mm-hmm. figure skating, and I was like, maybe I was supposed to do that because that's kind of how I dance. Very, very like. like <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like it. Well, uh, yeah, I look yeah. forward to hearing more about it. But uh, I guess there never will be a uh, a clear winner in this debate. It's just uh, we ain't changing um, each other's minds. We know that. No, I'll have to. Maybe I'll have to do it the blind taste test because it's been so long since I've had. We should have of them. Carissa do that for us because I would like to do that too. Mm-hmm. That would be interesting. We can do it, and we can learn. We should have had that set up for this episode, but I guess we kind of came up with this on. The I have Diet Coke in the in the fridge. Uh, yeah, Chris di- drinks di- Diet Coke. Di- di- diet. Uh, I mean, they're even phasing the word diet out of soda, which is really makes me mad. That's all marketing. Yeah, it's gonna be Coke Zero again. Is it? 
Or was it Coke new Zero? Coke Zero? They still have Coke Zero. Okay, it was New Coke that they took. I don't know. Coke is weird. It's got all these crazy things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So many, so many things. All right. Well, uh, um, I don't know. You decide. Right. We, uh, uh, Rob forgot. <laughs> Rob, Rob, yeah, Rob. I forgot, even though I reminded. <laughs> we drink uh, uh, All Faint uh, uh, Brewing, uh, Santa Squishy, the the Cherry Cola Sour Ale, and I, um, it was actually good. I, I, don't, I don't like this beer. You don't? No, I wouldn't Too drink Too cokey? I think they use Coke as their base product, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it's just got, I don't, I just, yeah, this one's not I don't think me. it was bad. It wasn't bad, but it's just not good to me okay well hey so, we're yeah. the coke debate continues so because i would say drink it and you would say dump it huh? yeah that's where we're at oh man wow what's uh cola is very divisive for us apparently i guess so all right next time pew pew audio goodbye everyone